Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now, I have a quick video for you guys. It's how to create a compound clip in Final Cut Pro. I'll also give you guys an example of why you might need a compound clip. Okay, for the purpose of this example, we are going to go ahead and use this clip, okay? Or use part of this clip. So we're going to do this, do here, this. We are going to make a duplicate of it at the top. The top is fine and dandy, but let's say I want to slow it down a bit, right? Okay, let's slow it down. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. But let's say we want to slow it down again. We can't slow it down again normally because, you know, this thing is still here. So, you know, we can't really. So, what we would want to do is create a compound clip because the compound clip would incorporate all the changes that we made. Like, let's say, for example, we want to add a blur, okay? Well, now you'll see that the blur is right here, directional, what we added. Well, we can create the compound clip. We can either hit Option G or we can just right click on it and hit New Compound Clip. We can name it whatever we want. Um, let's name it fake, just for reason. We could put it wherever we want in events, but we're going to stick to keep it in this event. And bam, it's a compound clip. Now, if we look over here, we see it doesn't show the effect. So we can't edit the effect anymore. But we clearly still have the effect and the speed on it. So now we can actually speed it again if we want to. And we don't have to worry about anything like that. Or if we want to make it two times faster, we literally just um, basically <laughs> just started it all over again where it was to begin with. But, but that's not the only use for compound clip, okay? Let's say we have a um, plugin. I actually talk about different plugins almost all the time. Well, for the sake of this, let's say we use this plugin. This is the plugin we use for a sub button almost all the time. Well, it's by itself, whatever. We can't really speed it up or slow it down because it's a plugin. So let's see if we click on here, it's all grayed out. Well, if we right click on it, make it into a compound clip, then we can make it as slow or as fast as we want. So let's make it fast. Let's make it eight times fast. Okay, so yeah, we play it through and it's super quick. All of it's super quick. It doesn't get caught for anything. It's just because it's a compound clip now, um, Final Cut Pro sees it as an actual video. So for all intents and purposes, this is a video in its own. We could save it. We could not save it. And best thing of all, since it had a transparent background to begin with, it still had a transparent background. And if we want to edit it at any time, we just double click the compound clip. And then we have the all the elements that were put into the compound clip appear here for you to edit. Then when you're done, just backspace 
and then we can do anything with this because this compound clip that you see right here is actually right here. Yeah, it's right here. We saved it. It saved it in the event that we chose. Um, by default, it will be whatever event you're in, but you can change it as I showed you earlier. So you can literally click on it, then, you know, export it or save it as it were in Final Cut Pro if you want. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. Um, if anything, hopefully it helped you think of um, compound clips in a different light. But yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.